a dress by Yves Saint Laurent, alongside the Pablo Picasso that inspired it. Saint Laurent was one of the first to bring the museum onto the runway. At 29 years old, the French designer made a dress that revolutionized fashion, bringing one of Dutch artist Piet Mondrian's line compositions to life. It gives an added dimension to Mondrian's work because it gives movement to shapes that were created to be static. And that's really the visionary aspect of what Saint Laurent did. Clad in Saint Laurent's designs, people become living works of art. Embroidery gives this sunflower jacket the thick texture of Van Gogh's paint. While the pixelated style of this tableau by Alain Jacquet becomes a series of geometric patterns. European art wasn't Saint Laurent's only inspiration. In the late 60s, on trips to Morocco, he discovered bright colors and materials like wooden beads and raffia. Yves Saint Laurent made this dress in 1967 for the Bambara collection, which paid tribute to African art. We see that modernity is essential to him, and he found that in African art, a mix of tradition and sleek, timeless lines. Saint Laurent was also known for his long and androgynous silhouettes. He himself was a skilled illustrator, and the home he shared with his husband, Pierre Berger, was its own mini-museum. Saint Laurent focused on creating a lasting aesthetic, which he saw as more important than fashion. Yves Saint Laurent's style has influenced generations of designers who continue to infuse their fashion with a heavy dose of art.